When we want to find the price index for a basket of quantities where we've got several different items, each with their own different inflation rate, we've seen that there are different ways of doing it. There are two ways in particular that we will concentrate on now. One's named after the economist Lasper. It's called Lasper's index. And what this does is take account of how many of each item are actually sold. It's not just their absolute price, it's how many of them. If something's got a big rate of inflation but hardly any of it sells, it's not going to affect the, the basket of um, goods very much. So with La Spare, we work out the total cost of the basket in year zero, in year one, and in year two, using our knowledge of the quantities how many of each were sold in one particular year, year zero. So we now need to multiply the price in year zero times the quantity in year zero. So 15 times 100 is 1500, 20 times 80 is 1600, and 50 times 20 is a thousand. And that gives us the total cost in year zero of 4,100. We now do the same for year one, but still using the same quantities. We assume that the amount of each that's bought is the same in successive years. So now we get the price in year one, I'll write it like that, times the quantity in year zero. So now we get 1600 and then 80 times 22 which is 1760 and 20 times 55 which is 1100. And we add those up and we now get uh, 4460. And then we can look at what happens in year two. So we look at the prices in year two times the quantity, the same quantities, assuming no change. So we get 100 times 18. We get 80 times 15, which is uh, 1,200. And we get 20 times 65, which is 1,300. And we add all those up and we get 4,300. And now we can work out the index numbers. If we take year zero as 100, this will be 4460 over 4100. And that gives us 108.78. Let's say 108.8, and here we get 4300 over the same base year times 100, and that gives us 104.9. So this is the aggregate index using La Spare's method, and so what we find is that the item which has sold the most its inflation rate will be much more important than this one, for example, which has sold the least. Although this is more expensive, it hasn't sold so many, so it doesn't have quite such a big effect. This is an easy method to use because we only have to use one year's set of quantities. We need to know the prices in all the years, but we only use one year set of quantities. But it's slightly inaccurate because things will change. If you have a big inflation rate on item A, then the number of people buying it might decrease and they'll go for something else. Something with a low inflation rate, like B, which has actually got cheaper from year one to year two, that might produce a lot more sales in successive years. And so next time we go on to look at another index which takes account of successive uh, quantities in successive years.
Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on. Well done.